Wahnsinn. Move to the side, please, sir.
Palestine. I want you to say, Long live Gaza. Long live Palestine. 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 Today, united by the certainty that one day in our lifetimes, Palestinian people will live and love and bring new life in their liberated homeland. So London, before we hear from our first speaker, I want you all to join me today in making a promise. It's a promise to the British government. It's a promise to the architects of Israeli apartheid. And most of all, it is a promise to the heroic people of Palestine. Say it with me, London. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. It is now my great, great honor to introduce our first speaker for today's rally. Please give the warmest possible welcome to the Palestinian ambassador to the UK, Hassan Zabla. Friends, Seekers of justice, marchers for peace, today is a very significant day. Today, the UK and Europe marks Armistice Day. Today, we remember and honor those who lost their lives in war. And we remember those who are still falling today. Today is a reminder for all of us that our history, our history, humanity's history is connected, is one. Today is a reminder that it is only once the guns fall silent that peace can be achieved this is why we are here today to call for cease fire cease fire now cease fire now cease fire now My friends, the UN was created in 1945 to prevent war and establish rules for conduct in war. But throughout its history, Israel has been tearing up those laws. It tore them up in 1948, the Nakba. It tore them up in 1967, the occupation. It has ignored these rules ever since, maintaining an illegal military occupation, building illegal settlements in occupied territory, and committing a crime against humanity after a crime against humanity. After decades of impunity, Israel is undermining the very foundation of our, our international order. The very foundation of our universal values. Today, Israel is bombing the United Nations in Gaza. Literally. It has killed more than a hundred UN aid workers. It has killed nearly 11,000 innocent people in Gaza and more than 175 in the West Bank. Yet, there are still 
No demands from the UK government on Israel to cease its brutal war on the Palestinian people. There are no demands on Israel to stop starving, starving 2.3 million people. There are no demands on Israel to stop killing children. Children! They have already killed nearly 5,000. 5,000 children. Do, do Palestinian lives matter? Do Palestinian lives matter? Do they matter? Is the life of a Palestinian child worth less than any other child in the world? No. Is the Palestinian life worth less than anyone in the world? No. Is the future of our children, Palestinian children, less important than any other in the world? No. Friends, Great Britain is renowned for its commitment to the rule of law and championing free speech. And yet, there are politicians who want to ban marches like this. This, this has been described as a hate march. A hate march. A demonstration demanding a ceasefire on Armistice Day is described as a hate march. This only, only makes sense if they want to silence you. Will you be silent? No. Will you be silent? No. The British people are famous for their love of those who struggle for freedom. Remember? Remember how you stood up against apartheid South Africa? It took decades, but you prevailed. The British people are also famous for their community cohesion and respect for one another. I look around. I look around you. I see tolerance. I see love. I see all communities. I see all colors. I look around and I see Muslims, Christians, and Jews. And please, please applaud, applaud our Jewish brothers and sisters who are with us today and have been with us for 75 years. Applaud them! Applaud them! This is what the UK is about. This is what our humanity, humanity is about. This cross-solidarity is what we are all about. Respect for law, love for one another, and solidarity! Solidarity! What the oppressed, these are the human values. These are the British values we celebrate. This is what this march is about. All of us, all colors, all, religion, all religions, demanding to end Israel's br brutal assault. Do not, do not let them divide you. Let, united we stand, united we prevail. This is the power of the people. This is the power of the people. And my friends, allow me, allow me a last message to my Palestinian brothers and sisters, to the great, great nation of Palestine. These are very difficult days. I share your pain. I share your fear. I share your sorrow. يا شعبي يا عود الندي يا أغلى من روحي عندي إنا باقون على العهد إنا باقون لن نرضى عذاب الزنزانة لن نرضى عذاب الزنزانة 
وقيود الظلم وقضبانه ونقاص الجوع وحرمانه إلا إلا لنفك وفاق القمر المصلوب ونعيد إليك الحق الحق المزلوب ونطول الغدا من ليل الأطماع حتى لا تشرى وتباع حتى لا يبقى الزورق دون شراع يا شعبي يا عودا الندي إن يا أغلى من روحي عندي إنا باقون على العهد إنا باقون These are the words of توفيق زياد Poet who was prisoner of Israel and the mayor of Nazareth We endure hunger and deprivation only only to break the shackles of the crucified moon and give you back your stolen rights and risky tomorrow from the night of greed. My friends, let us rescue tomorrow. Let us rescue tomorrow. Let the Palestinian, and I promise you, the Palestinian people will never, ever stop fighting for our rights. We will never stop the struggle for our future. The struggle for our future, for our children, for our mothers, for our hope. Today is a moment of unity. This is the moment we defend our values, your values, humanity's values. We are one united people in Gaza, in Jerusalem, and all over the world. And we, and we, the people demand cease fire now. Cease fire now. And we demand, and we demand free, 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 free. Thank you. the organizers of the demonstration against the Iraq war make some noise for Lindsay German it's so wonderful to see everybody here today because we have done such an important thing the police wanted us to call off this march the Prime Minister wanted to call off this march Suella Braverman wanted to ban this march and we said no. We said we are going to march whether Suella Braverman wants us to march or not. And that is why we are here today because we said we will march and we're determined to march every time that the Israelis are bombing Gaza, every time they're imprisoning people in the West Bank, every time they're killing children, we will march. And we have been accused by Suella Braverman of being a hate march. If you want to see a hate march, look at what the fascists were doing in the cenotaph this morning. They say they respect remembrance of the dead, but they're the people who are desecrating the cenotaph and memorial of the dead. We're the people who have got a huge, diverse, principled, peaceful march. Because we are here about the Palestinians. We don't hate anybody. But we are going to hold to account our politicians who refuse to give a ceasefire, who refuse to call for a ceasefire. Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak who said to Netanyahu, we hope you win. Keir Starmer, who has been an absolute disgrace as a Labour leader. <laughs> Keir Starmer, who has said, next week there is a motion in the House of Commons calling for a ceasefire, put in by the Scottish National Party. He's telling Labour MPs not to vote for that motion. That is an absolute disgrace and I hope, I hope every single one of the Labour MPs defies his call. Because it is absolutely abominable that we're not allowed to call for a ceasefire. 20 years ago, when we had the march on Iraq, when we formed Stop the War, we said the war on terror will lead to more Islamophobia and will lead to attacks on our civil liberties. What are we seeing today? 
Sue Ella Braverman, the pound shop Enoch Powell, she is saying that we're going to restrict the laws. She's making it harder and harder for us to demonstrate. She's making it more difficult. And she's trying to blame the Muslim community. If there is any violence today, as we've seen with the fascists in central London, there is one woman responsible for it, and that is the Home Secretary, and she should be sacked now. And if, if this government isn't prepared to sack her, they should be sacked as well, because they're an absolute, they're an absolute disgrace. Final point I want to make is this. We've just marched past the American Embassy. Anthony Blinken went last the other day and said there are far too many Palestinians being killed by Israel. I'd like to ask the Americans a question. How many Palestinians is it okay to kill? How many is it okay to bomb with heavy bunker-busting bombs? How many people is it okay to shoot? How many people is it okay to force from their homes into exile, driven onto the streets, driving south, absolutely terrified of the situation? The US allows, and the British government, they allow Israel to act with impunity. And we're here today to say, not in our name. Cease fire now. Thank you very much for coming. Keep organising and solidarity. Give it up for Lindsay for her amazing speech. <laughs> up next, um, and introducing our next speaker, General Secretary of Aslev, Mick Whelan. Well, they do say the world's full of mix, but there you go. Look, sometimes there aren't words. That we can't put words to what we're seeing on our screens and hearing every day from Gaza. But the message from the RMT is simple. We are here in solidarity with you as demonstrators who have defied the powers that be. We are here in solidarity with the victims of this conflict. We will continue to support demonstrations calling for peace and we will actively promote fundraising for medical aid to Gaza. We remain horrified at the loss of thousands of lives and we send our condolences and solidarity to all those impacted by this violence. We condemn the slaughter of civilians. We condemn collective punishment. We demand the freedom of the hostages. We demand the freedom and liberation of the people of Gaza who are held in bondage and in hostage all of the time. Thousands of men, women and children, civilians have been slaughtered and we urge all parties, including the international community, to work to stop the bloodshed. We call for an immediate ceasefire and an end to hostilities from all sides, from Hamas, from Israel, from the settlers, and all parties, we must stop the violence and take the road to peace. The conflict can only be resolved through a just resolution, through dialogue and respect for international law, including the illegal occupation of Palestinian land and support for the two-state solution. We support the, the voices on both sides that have shown tremendous courage in promoting peace